I am so confident that we are not going to hear from James in this episode that I'm not even listening to it. So, I, I guarantee you now he will. That's just the way it works. I'm not sure if I ever showed you guys the season stats. I think I did, but I might not have. So, just in case I haven't yet, I am going to check now. So, here you go. This is our player stats, but most importantly, from our perspective, I feel like I did show this. But anyway, yeah, we finished with a 913 and 248, which is... Pretty nuts. Well, if I'm not mistaken, we are currently 1-1 one one with the St. Louis Blues right now, and we are heading to St. Louis for two games to be played there, so hopefully we can take home both of these and come back to Dallas with a commanding series lead. But, I guess we're gonna find out in this video what happens here. So, let's go. Sim game. Let's jump into it here and see how the Stars perform in St. Louis. First period. All right, it's a wash. Second period, it's a wash again. Wow. All right, I feel like we don't come into this scenario very often at all. So this is going to be an interesting one, to say the least. I also completely forgot they had Connor McDavid. I want to know what the trade was, honestly. I wish you could go back and just see the history of trades for players. I don't know why you can't do that, by the way. I mean, it, I don't think it'd be that hard to track, really. It's a battle of the reverse retros right now as well. Luckily, Dallas is, is white, so... That can be our away jersey. And then the Blues have a red one, which is kind of cool, actually. Did they? I feel like they must have had a red jersey at some point, didn't they? I can kind of picture it, but at the same time, I can't, if you know what I mean. But I definitely feel like, for some reason, in NHL 06 or something, like, you could pick a red jersey for St. Louis. So, I, I don't know. Maybe this is all just not true, and I'm, you know, it's all in my head, but... Either way, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's a reverse retro battle regardless, and let's just pass that to you, sir. Oh, they've got Lafreniere as well. Lafreniere and McDavid. That's deadly. Oh, boy. All right, well, you know what? So far, though, we've been doing all right. So I guess we are managing to hold our own against those two. Let's go here, stars. 63, his skating style is so weird. It's very strange, but either way, nice walkout. Good shot. Now 6 has got it. What are you going to do? Back to 6-3. Walks out again! This guy! You just can't stop him. It's impossible, I'm pretty sure. You know, they see the C on the jersey, they're like, Oh no, it's him! There you go. Go right to the net. Like, I'm pretty sure this guy was scoring, no matter what. Okay? Like, there was nothing in this world that was gonna stop that man from scoring a goal right here, right now. Because he was dedicated, and you could just see that he wasn't gonna be stopped. Well, that's nice. We now have a one to nothing lead here in the third period, 15 minutes to go. So it's still very early in this period. And I think I maybe received a shot, maybe not actually. So I could have potentially not even had a chance to make a save yet. I can't even recall. In the middle to Nuge, oh boy, nope. Yes, okay, good stuff. That was just a mess on my behalf. But at the end of the day, I guess I still kind of did what I'm getting paid for. Puck didn't end up in the net, so I chalked that up as a W, sir. Oh, wow. We just gave him a breakaway. How? How do you save these breakaways, man? I don't understand. Like, no matter what I do, my goalie just goes, oh, and freezes and can't do anything. And why is there fog? Oh, well, I guess that's probably going for the thing. Never mind. I was going to say, what's happening? But that's probably actually, you know, like, their goal thing. Man. First of all, actually, he just... He, dangled me hard. If I went the other direction as much as I did, I probably would have had that. But also, slowest save animation of all time and like a half animation. He basically gave up mid-thing. Well, good goal by the Blues and now we have ourselves a tied hockey game once again here. It is 1-1 this time though instead of- Are you kidding me? Yo, this is brutal, man. Why are my save animations that slow? It's like he moves in slow motion. Bro, you're not in Hollywood, okay? You can move normal. Let's go here, stars. We got this. 2-0. Back to fives. Let's a shot go. And that's going to be smothered by Georgiev. All right. So we have half of the third period left here. Still a tie game. And this is really anybody's at this point. Because we both won one game so far, too. It's basically a best of five now. So that makes this game even more important. So if we can, you know, make this work and end up with a dub... I would be pretty happy, not gonna lie. McDavid walking out to Larson. Nice shot block, Lafreniere's got it now. Gets it to McDavid. Probably gonna let some backhand go. It's gonna freeze my goalie and go in from like their blue line. I do see some people saying I'm bad, but then I see other people saying that it's, you know, there's 
glitches in the game with animations and stuff, and it's basically impossible to save some of these. So, I'm gonna, to make myself feel better, say that the people that think I'm bad have just never tried goalie, or they play on rookie. So, yeah, that's my assumption. Should I go for it? Oh, now nah, he's all over me. They had me pinned off there. Weren't gonna give me that shot. Fair enough. But, we did get the puck out. Right back to St. Louis now, though. Schneider gets it up to Wong. Oh boy, okay. Six minutes to go, and we are still locked here at 1-1. I'm terrified to have any puck come on net at this point because it just feels like I can't save a beach ball right now. You know that little dialogue thing? The cutscene? Coach just chirps you, you can't save a beach ball? He'd be not lying right now, that's for sure. Alright, so I see that 9-3 pushed the elbowing button. And as a result, we are now going to... Oh, that was brutal, actually. But yeah, we're going to the power play. Attaboy, Nooch. Will it make it around to me? And yes, sir, it will. Here we go. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna send it. Screw it. Here we go. Come on. Tino! No, that's not on. It's just wide. Crap, that's gonna be icing, too. Well, there goes my team play. Down. It go... What? I was... No... Yo! Are you kidding me? We didn't even, like, I was starting to skate backwards and this guy charged me. Alright, well, I guess I can't do that again. But either way, at least I'm gonna get to drop their goalie like a two-foot putt. Which, by the way, probably a two-foot putt for me is like a 50-50. <laughs> I could probably miss that still. Can you just, like, go... Stop! Alright, alright. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Dodge. Okay, there you go. Holy crap. He just wouldn't go down. Alright guys, uh, I just would like to point out that we do in fact have the power play here. So if we could maybe get the puck out of our end, he's pretty sick. Nice pass! Oh man, the defense was in the perfect spot for that. That is very unfortunate. Nice try, nice try. Okay, well, yeah, we have 30 seconds left on the power play here. And so far we have not done a whole lot with it, unfortunately. Nice, nice, nice! Yes! He could have made that so much less stressful once again. But either way, it went in. So I'm going to drop it. Fire me up, boys. That's a huge goal by Johnny Goudreau. And the stars have the lead. <laughs> that guy looked like he was literally just stepping on the other guy's junk. That's pretty disrespectful. Why do they have three people in the box? Ah, uh, that's unexpected. But yeah, there we go, man. That is a beautiful goal. Not much time left in the third now, and we have the lead. This is good stuff. Walks in, takes a shot, rebound, and boom. There we have it. Oh no, in the middle. Thank you, Sevens, for being in the way. That was a goal. I'm not even going to try to sugarcoat it. That was going to be in, and there was absolutely nothing I could do about it. I imagine we're going to get a six on five very soon here, which is nerve-wracking. Come on, guys. Get one more. Don't let them get to the pull goalie stage. I mean, they'll still do it anyway. What a save! Holy! Their goalie is out of the net. 30 seconds to go, and he's just backing up and giving him all the time in the world. And Goudreau, is that Goudreau? I think it is, right? Yeah. What a demeaning goal that was. He could have sent it in the net and been all, you know, assertive, firm about it. But instead, he decides to just fluff it between four's legs. Bro got jockeyed. Nice, there's another goal! All right, 4-1 victory for the Stars. You'll love to see it. You really do. Definitely a decent save percentage for your boy as well, which I'm all on board for. Let's see how many shots they ended up with. They had 22 shots and only one goal. So, I might actually be the second star. I don't think I'd be the first one. Well, wait, Gujar had two goals and he was only the third. Maybe not. I don't know, but I want to see now. I'm locked in. All right, all right. Ashton Shamara, one and one. Now, who's number one? Is it Tino Mans himself, or did we get snubbed? Let's see. Come on. Yeah, okay, cool. Cool celebration. Georgiev. Georgiev gets number one. Give me a break. James, if you so much as think about showing up right now, it doesn't look like it. I think we're good. I'm pretty sure we're not getting finessed. All right, good stuff. He's still not there. So I can continue listening to my music and not be too pissed off. About it. Alright, we have not a good save stat, but 
team play and positioning actually ended up being really good. Okay, well, that's a huge win. Let's see if we can go up 3-1 now here in St. Louis. Boom, 1-0 Blues and 1-0 Blues. Okay, here we go. This is another close one. All right, the Blues coming in early here. McDavid almost walks through, but the Stars are going to block him off. That's good stuff. 9-2, skating in. Good pass. What a goal. That would have been an unbelievable save, by the way. That effort, tremendous. <laughs> What just happened? Why do I always see weird stuff like that in the cutscenes? It's amazing. But 9-2 was like borderline falling over, kind of defying gravity, makes a pass, and then Goudreau's also apparently a wizard. And then Guy Tr This is just a mess. Like, what's, what's going on there? I wish he made that save almost, though. I know that, like, I don't wish that, but at the same time, that would have been filthy. Miller walking in, takes a shot. That's not going to go anywhere near the net. Get away. Sevens with a- whoa, This- Wow! What a save! That is unbelievable! I- I didn't even pronounce the word right because of how ridiculous that was. I mean, I don't know if- I really didn't pronounce it wrong, but it was- There was a lot of emphasis on it, that's for sure. Lafreniere, not gonna get through. I just- I'm- I'm shocked right now. If this goalie's whole thing is to just make miraculous saves and throw me off my game, then you're doing a tremendous job, sir. The Nuge coming in. Is he gonna pass? Yes, he is! I don't think I got a piece of that. I'm pretty sure he just hit the side of the net. But I would like to think I got a piece of that. Definitely going to go to the replay. So, <laughs> to, to get a, an actual answer as to whether or not I had any impact on that. Alright, moment of truth, folks. I'm going to say no initially here. I think he just hit the side of the net. Oh, my word! I actually did. Oh, <laughs> that is unbelievable. What is, like, I, I needed to say it like that again, because this is just a wacky game right now. It's not, this, uh, that's a thumbnail right there. All right, there you go, folks. That's the thumbnail right there. Long. Oh, no, another weak backhand inbound. <laughs> Those are terrifying. And for some reason, they usually find a way in the net because the goalie just freezes up. No! You had that whole left side of the net. Man, we almost had that lead. That would have been sick. Here we go, here we go. 2-9, good low shot. Get that rebound out there. And we're going to the power play. I'm not going to try going for a goal this time. I think, you know, I'm kind of done with that for now. I will, however, try to get my team play up by doing this and sending it to you. There you go. Get back there. Get that team play up. Get that team play up for sure. Little back pass. That was fancy. That was fancy for sure. Wow, we have accomplished, I would say, nothing so far on this power play, which is not good. And that will do it for the power play. Let's pass that. Oh, that was scary. Nice toe drag, Tucky. That was sick, dude. Should probably do that again. Nuge, back to the point. Said Rob down low. I'm not going to hug the post. I'm too scared to do that. Tuck, there we go. Another save. Love that for me. And a risky, but... Oh, no. Oh, no. I was going to say a risky but successful pass. I was about to take that all back if his Tuck cut a clear-cut breakaway kind of thing there. Let's go, 2-9. Let's go, 2-9. Nice try. Holy, we have seven minutes left, and this game is absolutely back and forth right now. Nuge with a shot. That was horrible positioning on my part, but thankfully still able to make the save. Nuge going to get it back to McDavid. There we go, another save, and that was almost a bad rebound by me, but our defenseman was there to make sure McDavid was not able to pick that up. Laugh in the middle to McDavid again. Another save. Low pad there, going to deflect it off to the side. McDavid's going to poke check that off our guy. Gets it over. Thank you. Holy sevens come in clutch again. That guy is an absolute unit. And honestly, if it wasn't for him, it would probably be about 31. Have we had an overtime yet in this series? I don't remember if we had one last episode. So this might be the first overtime of the series. Go 2-9. Go. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, that was a good shot. A good shot, but a great save as well. McDavid now getting it over to Lafreniere. Skating it up the ice. Tries to do a D. Kind of works somehow, unfortunately. That's an easy save. I'm going to take that padded stat right there. Pass it out. That might hurt my team play. I guess we'll find out. And here we go. 2-9. 2-9. With a nice little spin to sevens. If he would have clutched that out, I would have definitely owed that man a beer. I mean, I kind of feel like I already do just from all the defensive plays he's made so far. This guy. Come on, man. This man will not be stopped. Connor McWho? This is Ashton Chimera's league, and everyone else is just playing in it. Wow, are we actually going to come away with this? 
We really are. That's, that is huge. 3-1 against the Blues here. We have quite the team, boys. I'm liking this Dallas team. I don't know where this came from, what deadline acquisitions they made, but they did something right. Looks like no James again, so I believe we made the correct assumption there. And by we, I mean me. I did. But uh, maybe you guys made the same assumption that James is basically just MIA for the playoffs. Look at that. That is beautiful. All right, well, I guess I will see you guys in the next video where we will find out whether or not we can bury the St. Louis Blues or if we will be pushed to a Game 7. So we could... There's a lot of different scenarios for next episode. We could eliminate the Blues, find out our second opponent, and play our first game against them. We could eliminate the Blues, find out our second opponent, and not play against them. Or we could find out we're going to Game 7 against the Blues. So there's just all kinds of outcomes here. And by that, I mean there's three. So, yeah. You, you know what I mean. All right, well, thanks for watching. And yeah, be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Be greatly appreciated. And I will see you very soon, I'm sure.